welcome to this lecture uh, we shall cover what if analysis it is one of the excel tools that we use to perform decision support uh, for this class we shall use this example of distribution that is uh, from the guide that I gave you you have this particular sample scenario where we have the four tools that constitute what if analysis we have scenario manager goal seek we have data table and we have the solver so we shall get started with this simple example demonstrating the scenario manager how as a manager you can come up with various scenarios that can support your decision making so given the data that we have here we have the unit cost we have uh, the quantity produced and the tax rates so for this case we don't have the expenses but when you're working in the real world you'll have everything set this is just example that you'll be using for your practice uh, like I said in the previous classes when we're looking at loan amortization and cash flow model you will also try to apply the same skill you acquire in this module in the same aspects and see what happens for example you can say what if the loan amount was 100 million and the period is perhaps four years how much would it be then for cash flows you would say what if uh, the initial outlay is this what would the NPV be or if you want to achieve a given amount of NPV what should the triple R be so you will try that during that time so let's get started with the very first example so you'll open Excel and merge some cells and give it a title cell analysis so you type cells analysis you can bold the heading then you skip one row and type item value so based on the data that we have on our guide we have the unit cost which is 86,000 so you type it there unit cost which is 86,000 then we have the quantity which is 1,200 this is sample data that you are using so you will try the same scenarios with the cash flows and loan amortization so based on this small data that we have here we shall compute the total sales which is the product of unit cost and quantity so you click on the 86,000 times 1200 that will give you that amount so we can format this figure to UGX you go to the home menu like we're doing previously then you come to the section of numbers click on that drop down then you click on currency then you select the symbol which is Uganda shillings UGX for example you can reduce the decimal places and hit the OK button then you can also copy this format by clicking on this particular cell which has the format for EGX click on the brush and click on this amount to apply the same format so when you come across these hashtags this means that this uh, column width is small so you just point at the border and double click and you'll have that computed so now let's get the tax which is said is 18% so it's a product of the cells so you put the equal sign total cells times 18 percent 
press the enter key so to get the net cells to get the net cells you obtain total cells minus the tax and you'll be able to get the total cells so now this data is sufficient enough for us to be able to perform those different analysis so for this case like we said earlier we are dealing with the scenario manager meaning we shall come up with different scenarios that will support our decision making so I'll rename this worksheet to scenario manager then you go to the data menu right here so you click on data then you come to the section where we have what if analysis you click on the drop down we have the three tools scenario manager goal seek and data table so like we said we are starting with the scenario manager so you click on the scenario manager as you can see this dialog box will appear reading here is no scenarios defined so you need to add a scenario so we shall consider this first data set as our first scenario values so you click on add then scenario name so we shall call this scenario one then which are the changing variables when you look at this table the last three variables are dependent variables then independent variables we have unit cost and quantity so they are the ones we can manipulate anytime therefore at this point where you're reading change cells uh, changing cells you refer to the unit cost and quantity so we have the blue icon here with the red arrow on it so you click on it then you come and highlight those changing cells and press the enter key then you hit the ok button it will prompt you to enter the values for each so let's consider these default values as scenario one we shall only have about three scenarios so you click on add to add another scenario so you say scenario two then the changing cells will automatically refer to the previous so you will not hit on this particular button again so you just click the ok button so let's say what if the unit cost now is 100,000 what will happen one two so what if the unit cost is 100,000 and we keep this constant what will happen so we click on add so we add the last scenario which is scenario 3 click the ok button then we say what if we are selling at 86,000 and we increase the quantity to 2,000 what will happen so at this point now we have reached scenario 3 you can hit the ok button so this dialog box will appear as you can see here with the different scenarios so how do you navigate the scenarios what we are viewing right now is scenario 1 so you highlight a given scenario that you want people to observe then you click on this particular button show the values will be displayed so you click on the next scenario then you hit the show button this will be displayed you hit this and it will display those values so that's how you make a presentation so you can as well make adjustments you can delete you can merge you can generate a summary so let's generate a summary so you click on summary then this dialog box will appear and it will refer to the target cell which is the net cells that's what you're targeting so you hit the ok button and this report will be generated so the first column that appears like it is stated here it is uh, indicating the values that were displayed at the time of generating the scenario i mean these values that you're seeing right here so you can decide to hide this column or you can ignore it and leave it there that is the description right here at the bottom so you can rename these columns for example this you can rename it to uh, unit cost then you can also rename this particular row values to 
quantity and due to the column width we can adjust just the way we have been adjusting the column width then this will be net cells so this is what we call the scenario manager what did we do we first performed some computations like you're seeing right here then we went to the menu data then what if analysis then we clicked on scenario manager and that is how we are able to do that so thank you for listening uh, see you in the next module